Hey, what's up everybody? So iOS and iPadOS 13.4 came out today. And of course the big thing for the iPad is the cursor support with touchpad and mice. Now, the first thing you're gonna find is, you know, if you've got a magic mouse, for example, that I'm gonna demonstrate here, you're gonna look at it and go, hang on a minute, it's only got one button to click, even though there were two buttons on the mouse. So what you need to do is to turn it on, you actually need to go into the settings. So I've already paired a magic mouse here with my iPad. I'm now gonna turn it on. All right, so now you can see that it's, it's turned on. I'm now gonna go down to general. And what you're gonna notice is, depending on whether you have a trackpad or a mouse or a trackpad and mouse, you're gonna see that there's this option that appears trackpad and mouse. I'll just turn the mouse off again here just quickly so you can see what happens. Notice how it disappears from the list. So I'm now gonna turn it back on and I'll just click the mouse to, to activate it and reconnect. So you see trackpad and mouse come back. So what you can do is if you tap on trackpad and mouse, notice if I actually move it here, you know, you can see that it's already connected and I've got the cursor. Well, what you can do is you can click on this secondary click here, all right? So I'm just gonna click on there. By default, it's off. Now, this is also, you know, depending on whether you're left or right-handed, um, how you want to configure your mouse at the same time because I'm left-handed so I actually want the left-hand side of my mouse to be the alternate right click as we would call it on on a computer right or if you're right-handed you're going to want to set it on the left-hand side uh, sorry the right-hand side of your mouse to be the alternate click so I hope that makes sense so I'm actually now going to go ahead and put mine on the left and now I'm just going to go up and click here okay so just to show this now, I'm going to go back to the home screen. If I go to click on this Adobe folder here, if I click with the right hand side of my mouse, because remember, I've got it set up to be left handed. So if you're right handed, you would now be clicking with the right hand side of your mouse. It's going to open the folder the same as it would on your PC. Now, if I just click somewhere to close that, if I now click on the opposite side, so again, for left-handed people, it'll be the left-handed side of the mouse. For right-handed people, it'll be the right-handed side of the mouse. It now gives me essentially that right-click menu option, okay, which would be the same as doing a, you know, like a, a touch and hold like we used to, used to do with the touch. So that's how that works. So again, you just go to settings. You're going to go into general, and you're going to look for trackpad and mouse. If you've only got a mouse, a trackpad, paired with the iPad, you're gonna only see trackpad, but if you've got e the mouse, it'll say trackpad and mouse. You'll go in there, you can set the speed, you can set the scrolling. I would just recommend leaving it at natural, but you can set this secondary click option to have you know, the alternate click on the, the alternative button on the mouse to whichever way you wanna have it. So that's where it is, hope that helps. Uh, like, subscribe, leave your comments. Um, I personally am already enjoying having, you know, this mouse cursor support on the iPad. Uh, visit peterwidham.com for more content and I will see you soon.